How do you tell one computer chip from another? These integrated circuits are embedded in most of our electronic devices. The insertion of counterfeit integrated circuits, or ICs, could have negative consequences on the productivity, health, safety, and security of electronics users. The reliability of critical systems such as medical equipment and aircraft technology could be compromised, and in military systems, national security is at risk from counterfeited or even subverted components. So as you can see, uh, integrated circuits all look the same. So how can we tell these apart in a, a robust method that's difficult for somebody to spoof or to, you know, to fool us into thinking that one chip is something else? This uh, integrated circuit in my uh, left hand has been uh, uh, carefully qualified by all kinds of testing, wafer proving, and uh, uh, is, is now uh, quite assured to be able to do exactly what it's supposed to do and nothing more and nothing less. And how do we make sure later in the life cycle that it's not been substituted by this one that looks identical but actually has different or maybe even malicious functionality? So there's two problems here. One is how to deal with the uh, uh, counterfeit problem, which saps uh, revenue for uh, integrated circuit manufacturers. The other is related. It's how to prevent uh, subversion, the malicious substitution of one part for the other, um, uh, unbeknownst to, to the uh, uh, system user. ICID is a technology that we developed here at Sandia. We use it to authenticate integrated circuits. We do that so we can track their authenticity, their pedigree throughout the supply chain. Our intended market, of course, was high consequence national security systems, but it's going to have a, a applicability for uh, a larger uh, volume of products, um, personal identification verification cards, credit cards, things like that. ICID technology enables unique, robust, cryptographically secure authentication of ICs without requiring the storage of secret values. And so with ICID what we have is a, a fingerprinting method really for uh, integrated circuits where there's uh, some unique manufacturing variations in every device that we build. Uh, you know, so try as we might to make these things identical, there are always small variations from one chip to the next. And by making careful measurements of, of those variations, we can establish signatures for each in individual die. Uh, those signatures are stable within one device over changes in temperature, voltage, other environmental conditions. These uncontrollable manufacturing variations are referred to as physical unclonable functions, or PUFFs. They are easy to evaluate, but practically impossible to duplicate. One of the advantages of our ICID technique is that it can manage to follow an integrated circuit through a wide range of the life cycle. With ICID, we are measuring our puff at the time and point of use. We're correcting any noise that might be resident in that measurement. And then we're authenticating with the challenge response protocol uh, that uses uh, a private key extracted from the puff measurement to decrypt a challenge issued to it. Because we're generating our private key at the time and point of use, we don't have to install it in non-volatile memory. And that means that we've reduced the attack surface that, a, that an adversary has to, to spoof us by claiming our private key. Beyond identifying malicious devices and keeping counterfeit ICs out of the supply chain, ICID could be used to robustly authenticate the integrated circuits currently being implemented in smart cards with the EMV chip. Credit cards and ID badges would be virtually immune to fraudulent transactions, even if the card is lost or stolen. It's really exciting to think about how we can use hardware as a foundation for, for security. Um, you know, uh, software-based security is in the news all of the time. But really, how are we going to protect systems if we can't trust the hardware that they're running on? And behind every piece of software is hardware. 